since I began teaching correct sentence structure communication process index grammar, i.e. quantum grammar, back in February of 2018, I found that the key to learning syntax, correct syntax, is to be able to designate what is a tangible contract term as opposed to a non-tangible contract term. Now, I've done videos on this in the past, but I find that there are some words that seem to fall into a gray area that cause some of the people problems when they're learning it. So I'm going to try and clear some of that up. Take this word, for example, real. Is real tangible contract or non-tangible contract? First of all, how many syllables are in this word? Looks like there's one. But if you look it up on Google, use a syllable website, it will tell you there are two syllables. R-E and A-L. And when we use parse and we look at an etymology dictionary, R-E equals no, because it comes with a sense of undoing. And if you look it up in a Latin dictionary, it literally says RE means stop, halt, a particle of negation. AL is a word forming element, which means contract. So we have a particle of negation, and then we have a contract at the end of the word. We have a tangible contract with what a contract is. And we have a tangible contract with what a no contract is. It's based on a fact. Fact based. Therefore, real is tangible contract. Based upon the parse I've just shown you here. What happens... If I put this on, really, put the L-Y on, now what happens? So now when we parse the word, we have R-E, which means no, A-L, which means contract, L-Y. What does L-Y mean? Well, when you look it up, it literally says it forms adverbs. So what is an adverb? An adverb is an abstract concept. It's a pure modifier. It's a condition of state of modification. It's a no. So you have RE, which means no, AL, contract, sorry about my writing, and an LY, which means no. So now, as we know, authority comes at the end. L-Y means no. It's a particle of negation. It is poisoning this word into an adverbial condition of state. Pure modification. That is why L-Y poisons tangible contract words into non-tangible contract words. You can have something, you can have a tangible contract with something that's not real. You can have a tangible contract with what a no contract is. You can have a tangible contract with what's real. Can you have a tangible contract with what's really? Think about that for a moment. That is why LY is a particle of negation and why it's non-tangible contract and why it will either be an adverb, verb, or a pronoun. In the same sense that a tangible contract word will be a verb, adjective, or a pronoun. This is one way you can certify what tangible versus non-tangible is. If you have any questions about this or any grammar questions, feel free to contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. I'd be happy to answer it for you if I can. Thanks for watching.